Got another past exam question on organic mechanisms. So this one is all about electrophilic addition. Let's have a look. So the question is all about the reaction between cyclohexene and bromine to prepare compound F. So first thing we've got to do is give the structure of compound F. Then we've got to go through the mechanism. So I'm just going to do the overall equation to get the structure of F out. So basically, whenever an alkene reacts, so the double bond's going to open up. Um, it's the pi bond that breaks. And the two, in this case, bromine atoms, are just going to add across where the double bond is. So that means compound F is going to look like that. If you were asked to name that, you'd have to call it 1,2-dibromocyclohexane. So we'll move on to the mechanism now. So we've got to include curly arrows, charges, and relevant dipoles. So straight away, we've got a relevant dipole across the bromine molecule. So this bromine here, because it's closest to this um, high electron density of the double bond, is going to be slightly positive, And this one is going to be slightly negative, because the electron density here is repelling the electron density in the bromine molecule. So there's the dipole on now, and the next thing I'm going to do is our first curly arrow. So basically what's going to happen is a pair of electrons in the pi bond are going to be attracted, so they're going to move out to that slightly positive bromine. So we draw a curly arrow to show that. Make sure your curly arrow starts from the middle of that covalent bond. And what that's going to do is it's going to bond the bromine to one of these carbon atoms. Then the electrons in this bond, they're going to be repelled completely onto that bromine on the right-hand side. So we show that with another curly arrow. Again, be careful, make sure you draw it from the middle of that bond. And basically what that's going to do is going to break that bond. Um, it's actually by heterolytic fission. They haven't asked for the bond fission in this question, so no need to worry about that. So there's the beginnings of the products of that stage. I just want to explain a few things rather than just write them all on the screen. So you can see this pair of electrons here, there's this pi pair of electrons has formed this covalent bond here. So effectively, this carbon here has lost its pi electron. So it's got a positive charge. So I'm going to stick a plus on there. And the bromine, when it breaks off, has effectively gained an electron. So it owned one of the electrons in the bond, didn't own the other one. It belonged to that bromine. So it's gained that electron. So it is now a Br- ion. And for the purpose of the mechanism, I'm going to put a pair of electrons on there. And then all we need to do is bond the bromide ion to that positively charged carbon. So we do that with a curly arrow. And we're going to make our product, which is that.